please do not forget this step because you'll lose everything. So the worst thing you could do right now is hit this X because remember when I said hit the X and escape closes? And last time it didn't matter because everything was in SketchUp, right? But if you look, what I say about the path, it doesn't exist in SketchUp. It only right now exists in Enscape. And Enscape won't tell you you're going to delete everything you've done for the last two hours. It'll just say, okay, <laughs> see ya, and it just closes. And then you open Enscape, and you're like, where's my path? And it's, it doesn't exist anymore. So before you hit the X on Enscape, make sure you come here and you say save path. And this lets you pick where you want to put it. You can call it, um, so this was Enscape intro path one. And you can save it. And so now it's forever saved. Like if you change anything in here and close it and you didn't resave, it won't remember the stuff you did after you saved. So I can close Enscape now so I can show you what would have happened. Had I not saved that, you could be like, oh, no, no worries, let me just launch Enscape again. And let me just play my animation to show you all the work. I Because you'll spend like an hour getting that path just right. And then you get to here and you're like, oops. Or you're like, you're like, perfect, I'm done, I'm going to go home and then render it from home. And you open it and it looks like this. And you're like, oh yeah, I got to launch this. And then you do it. Oops, no, I hit render image. <laughs> It's this one. You launch the video editor and see there's no path. So make sure you always remember to do that. And then you do this guy, which has like a little folder icon. You tell it load path. It's right there. You say open. And then in Enscape, it just magically appears. And so it's there. So if we hit preview, our path is back and we didn't lose anything. It's saved there for good. If you don't remember that, you're going to lose your path. And you probably won't remember that until you've lost your path at least once. So once you lose it once, you'll never forget. You'll be like, dang it. And any, also, any little changes you make, let's say you remember to save it, and then you realize, oh, you know what? I didn't like how the time of day changed there. Let me adjust it. If you don't save again before you close Enscape, it's not going to remember that last little change because it'll just be whatever it was when you saved, that gets locked in. Anything you do after that and then you close, it will forget. So make sure before you close, you always say save path. You can override the same path. And the file for the path is really small. It's literally just, uh, I think it's like an SVC file or something like that. And it's just text. It just tells it where the cameras were and what, what direction and all the little settings on it. So when you're happy with the path, you watch the preview like two or three times. There's no weird stuff happening. It's not too fast. It's not too slow. Like the time of days are looking good. The materials are all rendering right. What you see here is really close to what the final rendering will be. The final render will be nicer quality, like the materials and stuff and like the little effects. But it's not going to be like if it looked weird there, it's probably going to look weird. Like what might look nicer is like if it's a little grainy or like the speed is a little choppy, it might smooth that out but it's not going to dramatically change like what you're seeing here.